hi everybody welcome to my channel okay if you guys haven't noticed my hair is like purple okay so today I'm gonna tell you guys how I got this purple ombre um, it's actually the color is called lusty lavender and I've gotten so many compliments on this hair so I thought I could do a video on how I got this hair color now as you guys know i have been bleaching and i'm gonna do a hair update with this hair in another video because i didn't want the video to be too long okay so if you guys remember i had bleached this hair twice to go gray um i don't ever wear colored hair i never ever go color it's just not me i mean the most i've done was i was going through like a blonde phase a couple years ago and i was just bleaching all my hair blonde and whatever but i'm not really like a color girl i just i'm pretty much like black i like black hair and that's it so this summer i just felt a little bit i felt fancy that's the word i've been feeling very fancy so i thought i wanted to go to color um initially i wanted to go to sally's and see if i could find like a lavenderish color and i didn't have the time and i was just in like i wanted to do it now you ever just get into that vibe where you want to do something no you want to do it right now like i'm that type of person like i want to do things right now so I went into Walmart and I went into the color area and I picked up this brand called Splat. I've never used them before, never ever heard of them before in my whole life. The color is called Lusty Lavender and it's a complete kit. And what comes with the kit is the color and a bleach, like a bleach bottle of peroxide. And they, they, they also have a lot of other colors, like they have some green, some pink, some blue. But Walmart only had a few of them and Walmart only had this one and like a pinkish one called Berry Blast But I didn't want to go pink and I didn't want to go green. I just felt like it was just I didn't, I didn't want those So I went with this color because I felt like purple was gonna go better with the tone of my, my skin tone because I am a darker girl So I figured purple would work well and some colors just would not work on me um, Okay, so my hair was bleached twice to achieve this and then the kit has a bleaching kit in there, which I probably did not have to use, but I decided to dry, try it anyway because I wanted to to get the maximum effect. The box does recommend that your hair be like a yellow, like bleached to like a yellow tone, kind of. So I bleached my hair for the third time. I left the bleach on it for, I want to say I left it on for 20 minutes. I did not leave it on for very long because I just... My hair was already bleached twice, so I didn't really need to leave it on. But if you're going to get this color, you're going to have to make sure that your hair is light or bleach your hair. There's, you can't go from black to this without some bleach. So, note to self. The box, like I said, the box comes with that in there. Instructions are fairly simple, and it comes with some cheap gloves. So, make sure you buy your own gloves. The gloves that come in here are so wide, like, I don't know... Who those gloves are supposed to fit because they both my hands fit in there in one apply this to your hair dry a lot of dyes you can apply wet but you're you apply this dry so i blow dried my hair i didn't even blow dry it 100 because i really did not have all day and then i applied this left this on for an hour and then they recommend washing it out and making sure that the water runs clear i was in the shower for probably an hour just standing there and the water would not run clear that's the only thing I'm kind of annoyed with with this and don't let it catch anywhere in your bathroom like it stained my sink it stained the floor it stained this thing stains everything it touches like everything it touches is permanently stained so make sure you wear some old clothes put newspaper on the floor and cover the basin up with some like old stuff because it stains I was a little bit worried that because it didn't run clear that it was going to I guess I was terrified I was a little worried that it was gonna run on like my white clothes but I've had this in my hair for over a week um, probably eight days and I've worn white shirts with it I do wear a lot of black and white I've worn white shirts with it I've run in the rain because it rained and it didn't run on my clothes I went swimming in the pool I didn't submerge my hair but like strands of it got wet and it didn't start to bleed so I was really g glad about that but it does say on the box that it might transfer or whatever but I haven't experienced any of that um, so so far I really like the color the only thing I don't like is the fact that it stains everything when you use it it's just like a mess so make sure you're in a controlled area um, the, the when you're if you're bleaching in here also make sure that you're in a ventilated area when you're bleaching here too I almost passed out in the bathroom like the bleach was just so strong it was going up in my nose it gave me a headache my eyes were red like it, guys like I went through a lot with this whole kit but for the most part it was good 
Um, so that's how I got this color. I decided to ombre it as opposed to like do my full head because I just felt like that was not going to look good on me. I don't know if you guys can see the true color that well, but it's like a, it says it's a lusty lavender and I guess, I don't know if you want to call it lavender or just purple. It looks just purple to me, but it's whatever. I'm not going to knock their marketing if they want to call it lusty lavender. Plus 11 though. So that's how I got this color. I just used a box dye on my hair from Walmart. This was $8. The bleach that comes in this kit, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm not sure if it's strong. It's a very strong bleach. I mean, I had it on my hair for, like I said, probably 20, probably had it on a little bit more than that, probably like 40 minutes. And I didn't really see it lift my hair any more than it did. Maybe it's the hair, maybe it's the hair just can't lift anymore. I don't know. But I didn't really notice any lifting. So if you're going to bleach your hair, I would recommend that you buy your own bleach. Um, Farty developer and um, your own whatever you, that powder that you mix up. Yeah, buy your own. I wouldn't recommend using this one. I don't think this one is very strong. I don't think it can lift black hair um, to get the color that you want to get. Just FYI. But that's how I got this purple color. Um, I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think of it uh, as it relates to going to like a white blonde I might lift this color off my hair this week, you know, probably go another color or probably bleach it some more and Try again for the blonde um, Comment down below if you've ever heard dyed your hair and then bleach it with like bleach How does that work? Will it lift the color? Like how do I get this color out of my hair? I know they have like kits where you can wash it out I, I don't know if this is a semi-permanent or a permanent color nowhere on this box says that absolutely nowhere I read the entire thing um yeah also it does say on here that two kits may be used for very long thick hair I use it for the ends of my hair and I only use one kit and it was one box and it was more than enough the one box did perfectly fine for me I did not need two boxes but like I said I just did an ombre so I don't know the one kit was just fine it kind of at the top I didn't really do a good job so if you notice like down by the bottom is more purplish and up here kind of looks kind of orange pinkish because I couldn't see what I was doing so clear and so it didn't really yeah but the, the, to hold this stain like because I'm wearing makeup now you're not gonna be able to see I have a purple mark on my neck I don't know if you can see it, but I had like a purple mark on my face, a purple mark on my neck. I had purple marks all over my arms for at least four days. It just stained me. I looked like I had, I was cutting my wrist and there was just like purple marks everywhere from like my hair, like moving over my hand when I put the dye in there. There was just purple everywhere. So like I said, make sure you get some good gloves. Make sure you wear protective clothing that you do not need because there's this, this is not coming out of your clothes ever. God is going to come for the world and this is going to be in your clothes. So, yeah. So, any questions about my color, um, please comment down below. Um, after I did put it in, I did do a deep conditioning mask on my hair for a little while. Just to, you know, just to moisturize my hair and that's all I did. Um, when I flat iron my hair, the color doesn't come off the flat iron. It's, I like it. So, Tell me if you guys like my new hair, comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!